And we're a leaf and coil spring manufacturer that has been in a business since 1937 when my grandparents, Frank and Grace Eaton, founded the company. Very first process is the salesperson through our in-house computer program selects the proper spring for the vehicle. When a customer calls, we ask what is the year of the vehicle, the make, the model, the body style, the engine, and every and all modifications made to that vehicle. Because remember, springs support weight. Different engine, different weight. Different modifications, different weight. Other spring manufacturers out there are mass producers of springs. They will make hundreds or thousands of the same part number over and over again. We produce the exact spring for the vehicle. It's not a one size fits all. We can do that because we have over 24,000 original equipment blueprints that relate to about 175,000 different vehicle applications. All our springs are made from North American made steel, SAE 5160, all North American made rubber parts such as bushings, center bolts, etc. No foreign product is put into our springs. So the operator has the individual leaves cut to length. Once the leaf is sheared, the operator then takes it over to the eye forming machine. The process of that is the, the end is heated, a scarf is cut on it, that is about a 45 degree angle is put on the end of the plate. The plate is then reheated, and then it is put into the eye machine, the roller, which rolls the eye. The purpose of the scarf is to allow the end of that steel plate to tuck right in to make the eye perfectly round. That's done on both ends if it's called for on the blueprint. Whole center bolt hole is then punched in it. Each individual leaf will then have the center bolt hole punched in it. The ends will be tapered if it's so called for. The ends will be cupped if called for. The ends will be diamond pointed if called for. That ends the process at the forge department. Once the spring is finished in the forge department, it's transferred over to the heat treat forming and heat treating department. There, the plates are put individually put into a furnace, heated up to approximately 1800 degrees, brought out of the furnace, put over our patterns, which we have almost 800 of them, formed to the proper shape, taken off the pattern and dipped and quenched into oil. We have approximately 15 seconds to get it down to about 1450 degrees. Oil is the medium used to get that plate that cool that fast. Once it comes out of the oil, the leaf is brittle. That is, if you tried to step on it to bend it, it would break. It has to be tempered. That process is done by putting the leaf into a tempering furnace, heats it to approximately 950 to 1000 degrees for a set amount of time based on the cross section of the steel. Once it comes out of the tempering furnace, we say the molecules are all tense. They're nervous, they're tight, they're wound, they're wrapped up. We shot peen it. Shot peening is where we put the, the springs, the individual leaves into a machine that throws tens of thousands of little steel balls at a very high speed at the product. It hits the steel plate and it takes the tense molecules and we say it relaxes them, it makes them happy molecules. Now, the purpose of shot peening is to relieve the tension. And when the tension is relieved out of that spring, that spring will last up to 10 times longer than a spring that has not been shot peened. They then go over to the Brunel tester. That is, in layman terms, it's Rockwell hardness. We test the hardness of each spring. Uh, the machine is rather an old machine. It's certified every year. It's one of those things, it's not broke, don't fix it. It works just fine. Springs are then assembled. The center bolt is installed. Bushings are installed. Leaf liner is installed. Tip inserts are installed. Clips are installed. Rebound clips are installed. They are then ready for shipment to customer. If we have a couple pieces of machinery, we laugh and we joke and we say it's stamped on there, it's property of the Mayflower. <laughs> They've been here a long, long time. Uh, one of them is actually belt driven. We've had several people look at that machine and say, make it motorized, bring it up in a modern day era, get rid of the belts. And after they study it, they walk away and say, it's working fine, leave it alone, don't touch it. It's one of two that we knew that were in existence in the United States. And we understand the other one has now been taken out of service, so it's the last machine like that in the country.
Every one of our employees is a stickler for details. Uh, sometimes we joke and we say they'd make, they'd make good wives or they'd make good mothers. Uh, if a spring is not perfect, and I mean perfect, they reject it. They won't let it go out the door. It's a craft that it takes a long time to learn. You can't just hire anybody right off of the street and say, here, go make a spring. We have employees that have been here. Heck, one's been here longer than 40 years. A couple others are pushing 40 years that they've been working here. When we hire a new employee, we tell them, we train them. First off, we make sure they're trainable. We train them and we tell them it's going to be at least a year before they understand what they're going to be doing. They laugh at us and a year later they sit there and say, you know, you were right. I'm just beginning to understand how this job is done. I love talking about this stuff.